Oh, hi there, hope you're keeping well. Uh, good to have you with us today as we take a moment just to pause from our usual Bible study and pray, okay? We do this every Wednesday, we just take a moment to pause and pray and, and really we're encouraging the whole church to do this. Every one of us needs to do that. We, we need to be people that, that take a moment to stop our busyness and our striving and our, our um, all our activities and just take a moment to pray and, and seek God. So just encourage you to join us uh, in that today. And um, I'm actually going to be reading from Ephesians 1 just to help us with our prayer because Paul prays for the Ephesians church. So I don't know how you're feeling in terms of your faith as we go into a new year. But there's a great prayer. I love, the, I love to use um, prayers that I find in, in the Bible to pray for myself and pray for the church. And this is this is one of them. It's in Ephesians 1 uh, verse uh, 17. And Paul says this, he says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart might be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and is his incomparably great power for us who believe. Just, just some really great points to pray really for ourselves and for the church as we go into a new year. I want to encourage you, pray for yourself, pray for the church. Uh, these, these things that um, we might know him better. Yeah, Paul says, I pray, keep asking God, he might give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. What a great thing to aim for this year, to know Jesus better, to know him more. Yeah, there's I guess there's not probably not a better aim that you could aim for this year. Uh, pray for God's help to know him better. And that as a church, we would be a church that know him better. Pray that the eyes of our heart might be enlightened, opened, yeah, so that we may know the hope to which he has called you. You know, do you, do you need hope this year? Are you looking for hope? Um, you know, we can put our hope in all kinds of things, can't we? Uh, but Paul is saying what you really need, whatever your, your thinking is the, is the remedy this year, what you really need is to have the eyes of your hearts opened, enlightened, so that you know the hope um, to which he has called you, which is the, and the glorious inheritance in his holy people. This hope that we have an inheritance kept in heaven for us that can never spoil or perish, that God is at work and he's, he's working in our lives to bring us into that inheritance, right? I mean, what an amazing thing to know that we have this inheritance in store for us. That should give us hope, okay? So pray, pray for hope that your eyes, the eyes of your heart might be open, that you might know this glorious hope that comes from our inheritance with all God's people. And it says his incomparably great power for us who believe. So pray for the power of God, yeah? The power of God to be at work in your life, that you might know more of the power of God at work in your life this year but also the power of God at work in the church and through us in the church and in the world around us, yeah? So great three things just to pray for, yeah? We might know him better. The eyes of our hearts might be enlightened that we might know the hope to which we're called, this glorious inheritance with God's people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. Join with us today as we pray those things in for the new year, okay? Have a great day and we'll see you soon.